We got Crack, and we are going first without the Witchers. Pretty unusual. Still no Witchers. Still no Witchers. Still no Witchers. Okay. So... Let's do like a Hulk Smuggler and boost it. Uh, there's a chance that we're just gonna Ragnarok right away. And uh, try the Force. Well, we have two options. Either we... Play a little bit, then give up round one. In, in all likelihood, because... We don't have uh, much of a follow-up. <clears throat> or... But that could be tricky, because if we give up round 1, then he might just push us round 2. He might still force us to play Ragnarok. So... <clears throat> Let's do that. He's abusing the, ho the horse. God damn it. We'll forget hope. Well, Fred. Yeah, I don't know. The boost generator seems like the best choice. We can't kill this guy without using up a hero power and like an archer. I'm not sure if I wanna do that. Smuggler is gonna give me value later. And it's pretty unlikely that he's just gonna get hit by the skull right away. Special prize, just for you. It's one out of three, guys! Hey Mustang, hey guys. Oh, he has the bear card back. I was too lazy to get it. Roach is dead. It's good. <clears throat> mm. Let's play Puffco in the bank. <clears throat> Even forgot to use uh, a <laughs> Herald. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Oh, we can just put Harald into the fire and he's gonna die to the Ragnarok. But I then use up one Brewer charge. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to score. However, that makes pretty likely that we win <clears throat> this round. So try to throw this guy into the fire. <clears throat> Are we just getting some good boosts here? Not a fan of Skellige. Eh? Oh, that's no good. So that's a 10. This guy really wants to win round one. <clears throat> so, we hit. Ragnarok hits. <clears throat> we're gonna be at... Uh, well, he's gonna be at 26. And we're gonna be at uh, 15. This is annoying. So Horn Crack uses Horn.
Well, that's a 10. Mm. Actually, I kind of fucked up tonight. Well, I definitely fucked up. I should have moved in that guy. Don't don't use it. If I just pass, cutting job you did there. Yeah, I should have just brewered. Well done, man. I needed to brew her, and hitting that was dumb. I can hit this guy. Unbelievable. Bloody horn. Yeah, I need to use Brewer. If I pass now, uh, Ragnarok doesn't hit. We just hit him for 10. And we're gonna be at, uh, at not enough. Only 25. A fire, Meta Pops! Yes. So many skeleton rank. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's a good deck. What do you expect people to do? Make a different deck. Problem here is uh, twofold. We also don't have the traps. Crack is good in long round. The problem with this deck that it kind of struggles uh, to push. Yeah, that's just bad. There's a chance that we get the Witcher. Which is bad. But basically, most things in the deck is... Well, not most, but some things would be better. We kind of need the power here. I think I need to gamble. We got the Witcher. Great. Rip in peace. Yeah, I think we could just concede, basically. Yeah, that's not too annoying. Yeah, we just don't have anything that makes this deck uh, win the games. You stand before the queen, <laughs> But let's see if we have a chance even like this. Probably not. <laughs> There's a chance that we can blow up the ship because he's gonna be greedy. And we have some big boosted guys, so who knows. Across the wide somber sea, I will sail. I don't even have a crushing trap. <sighs> yeah, we gotta play the Alvin Scout before we play here. the Pitbull Trap. Problem is, Alvin Scout is pretty damn likely to die. Great.
Finishing off Esco. Fine. Actually, that makes sense. Moving the Chiron X. And uh, just play this on range. If I play this, he's just gonna hit it. Enable bloodthirsty units. Probably gonna play one now. Out of desperation. Oh. He still believes that the bloodthirsty units are gonna get value. So Crack can't uh, trigger Bloodthirst units right now. So this is a good time to maybe play Vesemir. His hand looks almost as good as mine. If I had a crushing trap, I would play it now. I'm gonna pretend to have one. <clears throat> you can use the blue remove later. I'm gonna move my own guy, just in case he has uh, another... Well, no. Do we assume Bloodthirsty Unit? I think at this point I just gotta take, grab every single point of value that can be... Well, the ship could be a thing. So either we play around the ship... No, 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 he doesn't have ship. He's a corn crack. Never mind that. Are not so I'm just gonna move his stuff around. <clears throat> I'm at 27. Yeah, it's easy to win. Did you guys doubt me? Easiest game I ever played. <clears throat> Everything went right. GG. Okay. Three cards to Mulligan. And this should be just good. <clears throat> now we do the, the usual. Maybe Temple Pass? Maybe not. Because we can generate insane amounts of value with the Smugglers. For later turns. <clears throat> You lost hope, but that was amazing. <laughs> Just crap. I tried to... ...take round one without using Ragnarok. I might just use my Brewer Hog. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go with that. Show me the coin or sod off. Give me points! Or? Because we don't want to play Ragnarok. <clears throat> I'm kind of abandoning the Temple Pass idea. Well... Could've still considered that. But... Having smugglers on the board and generating some value for later rounds, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, the archer has to do something with that.
I'll just kill it. They can hide, but there is no escape. Do I just kill the good and sure fruit? Eh. Let's hit the enraged gym for it. A pretty monster deck seems to be pretty controlling. Oh, actually blowing it up. Well, was not blowing it up was a pretty good idea because he could have just uh, spawned at the start of the round. Uh, I'll just hit that. Either we play this for free, kind of four, or we just get out ten points, which is gonna be pretty good. At that point, we are leading by 18. Like, we're kind of getting to the situation where... Okay. So this is annoying, because if he plays Old Spear Tip, he takes it. Anything but Old Spear Tip... Okay, Commander's Horn... Old Spear Tip only. Well, he does have one Thrive unit, and he can get one point. So anything that's a 9, technically takes it as well. So 9 plus, at this point. <clears throat> Just watched in the wood. Pretty cool, still no GG. Yeah. Do I play the sentry here? Okay, let's play the sentry. That means he has to play... Oh, yeah, obviously. 8 points plus whatever. Well, he does have some value generation. I have some value generation. Well, this is value generation, but it's not... Not not affecting the board technically. So annoying. I'm passing. Right, come on. I have to pass. He's gonna like slam old, old spear tip on me. If not, this is good. He just gave up. But this is an odd situation. Because I don't wanna... What we can do is try to race him round 2 to gain a card. But... It might not work. And we're just making it a shorter round 3. Which is not great for us. Yeah, I, I need to mulligan into some good cards. Down low, I'm down. We're just gonna pass. I miscalculated. <laughs> we used up six cards, not five. Yeah, it would be nice to have some golds. So, this is not terribly useful. Perfect. But we kind of have a problem here. Well, it's okay. It's still okay. I don't think we're gonna risk Yorvet, because if I get a trap, then uh, Yorvet's game is not gonna be good. If I get rid of a trap, that's that's not great either. So, let's just go with this. No problem. Mm. 
So these guys gonna get completely destroyed by uh, the crushing traps. But I'm still gonna Ragnarok on the front. I'm gonna go with Swordmaster. Doesn't matter much. I'm not too concerned about the back. I'm only concerned about guys that are six or higher. Those are probably gonna be thrown into fire. Everything else can be can just play there. Fine. Well, we can wa wait one turn. We're throwing something into the fire, if if it even becomes relevant. <sighs> if this guy dies, I don't really care. Elven Scout can play in the back. Yorvis Gambit is gonna be probably played. I don't know, one before last or two before last? That's a good question. Probably two before last. Uh, let's just play the Elven Scout. Play on the back to avoid the Cyclops. Good point. Except this guy, he's dumb. Well, he was dumb. He's, he's not dumb anymore, he's dead. I'm not sure if that's better. It's just like... Ooh. Now that's a perfect target to put into the fire. Question is, who do I use to put him in the fire? I just use Bruver, put down a pitfall trap. That makes it less likely that he's gonna play stuff in the front. Uh, let's just play the Pitfall Trap over here. Next to the Alvin Scott that it's uh, possible. Uh, Mahakam Horn, but I don't really want to sabotage the Mahakam Horn that much. I gotta play the movers. Oh, you're with Gambit. It's pretty uh, predictable at this point. Maybe he gets confused easily.
Okay, let's play a trap. Just throw him in the back. Okay, let's throw Old Spirit in the back. That Brihi Dragon goes and throws. Doesn't really matter much. Bot on Hound in the back. And that's a win! You got him. Easy on the 20 plus points. Well, yeah, you were pretty right about that. That's 21, exactly. GG! Uh, Doggy.